Hi, uh, I'm going to do a poem by Navarun Patachacho, the original poem is in Bengali. I'll do an English translation of it. This valley of death is not my country. I spit on the father who fears to point at his child's corpse. I spit on the brother and his shameless sanity, despite everything. I spit on the teacher, the intellectual, the poet and the clerk who do not seek to avenge this bloodbath out in the open. Seven king corpses lie stretched across the pathway of reckoning. I'm losing my senses bit by bit. Seven king open pairs of eyes look at me in sleep. I scream out. I'll turn insane. I'll kill myself. I'll do whatever I want to do. I'll eat the sun, the moon and the stars. I'll smash all bridges between the viewer and the viewed. This is the exact time for poetry. Through stencilled manifestos on naked walls, a college crafted of own blood, tears and bones, now is the time for poetry. In the iron face of severest pain, right now is the time to hurl poetry. Face to face with real terror, keeping eyes fixed at the blinding headlight of the vans. At 303 and whatever else the killers have, it's time to face them with poetry. To stone lock up chambers, shattering the yellow lamps of crime investigation cells. In the courthouse run by murderers. In seats of learning that teach lies and spew venoms of hatred. In the state machine, churning abuse and terror. In the heartless chest of gunmen who serve that machine. Let the anger of poetry echo out in furry. Let the poets of the world prepare themselves like Lorca. For the strangled corpses to disappear, let them be ready to be stitched up by the machine gun bullets. The hours be gone. The city of poetry must be surrounded by the village of poetry. This valley of death is not my country. This executioner's theater is not my country. This vast channel ground is not my country. This blood drenched slaughterhouse is not my country. I'll snatch my country back. I'll pull the fog cased white cast flower, the crimson dusks, and the endless rivers back into my chest. With all my body, I shall sat on the fireflies. Forests burning in ancient hills. Countless corps of herds, flowers, humans, and horses from fairy tales. I shall name each star after each martyr. I shall call out to the howling bridges, lights and shadows, playing across the fish-eyed lakes of dawn and love. Banished to places like years away ever since I was born. I shall call it too. To join the carnival on the day of revolution. I reject. I reject days and nights of interrogation with a thousand watts of electricity. I reject electric needles inside fingernails. I reject having to lie naked on the chunks of ice. I reject being hanged upside down till blood curses out of nostrils. I reject spike boots pressed on lips, burning iron rods on every inch of skin. I reject the sudden blast of alcohol on whip blast back. I reject stark electric jolts on nerves, pieces of rocks shoved inside vaginas, scrotums mangled to pulp. I reject. I reject being beaten and thrashed to death. I reject revolver muzzles struck against craniums. Poetry is eternal, irreplaceable. Poetry is armed, poetry is free. Poetry is fearless. Behold the warriors. Markovsky, Hikmet, Neruda. Look at them looking at you from the clouds. Call out loud. We haven't let your poetry lose. A new epic is being written throughout the land. 
Perseides and tactiles are raising their hungry heads in kerilometers and rhythms. Dhamsa Madho lowered the beats of wild anger out. Tribal hamlets stand like coral islands. Indigo fields rigging with blood. A river named Titas and those poison hoods of King Cobra dangling from her wounded face. Death sought at night spread toxic roots. Browsing of warrior heroes from lures and epics. Ready to hurl arrows that blind the sun. Sharpest edges of wilded swords. Pointed poison tips of lancet, spears, javelin shafts, glistening in their mag raid, charging out to reclaim all lost shores. Blood eyed tribal totems swine to angry bits of million drums, all thunder out in perfect accord, and there are guns, cutlasses, and daggers, and there is courage. There is courage hipped up in piles, alive and vital. So much of courage that there is nothing to fear anymore. And there are trains, severe tusked bulldozers, processions, convoys, dynamos in motion, turbines, lathe machines, waking in workshop of heroes, strange diamond eyes shining through the meeting darkness of trapped mind slides, strange strong hammers made of iron, a thousand hands raised against bleary skies of doctors, jute mills against boiling bits of furnaces. Tons of coal fuming in acid vendetta, blazing in the life magging gull to reclaim all that there was and all that there shall be. No, there is nothing to fear anymore. The pale face of fear belongs to some stranger. When I know death is nothing but love. If I am killed, I shall become a million tiny flames and spread across all the earthing lamps in the world. I am eternal. I shall return each season, each year, each aeon as the green hope of soil. I am eternal. I shall stay in joy. I shall stay in sorrow. I shall live through each new birth and cremation as long as the world is alive, as long as human beings are alive.